Hi there, welcome back to Rising by Drew. Today I'm going to make some of my favourite flowers uh, which are just the plain white um, 3D blooms. So my resin's been sitting for 25 minutes. I'm going to start off by pouring my resin into the moulds. As usual I don't need to fill the moulds, I just need a good layer on the bottom. Um, and then I'll make my white up and I'll share the rest of the resin um, between the moulds that are left then. a little bit more maybe that one wants a fraction and just finish off giving this filling this one I think this one got the least to start with I don't know why poor thing let's try and make it fair Okay, so that's the resin in the moulds. I'm going to make the um, the white resin up um, and I'm going to be piping the resin. Let me the cloth for my hands. So for my resin, my white resin, I'm using Resi Tint Max in titanium white and my usual Pinata Pearl alcohol ink. So as always, I'll just get a stir stick. I'm going to start off by mixing all the goodness together and down the sides, around the edges, across the bottom. And mix all that together. And then I'm going to scrape my stick off. And that is all I'm putting in the tub. So as you can see, there's actually very little left on the stick. There's hardly anything that goes in. And that's because you don't want to make it too heavy. The more white you put in, the heavier it makes it and the more likely it is to sink and go blobby, which is something that some people want. Some people don't mind the blobs. Some people actually like the blobs. And yeah, for some designs, um, the blobs are um, useful. But uh, personally, I don't. I prefer not to have the blobs, so I try and avoid them. Just giving that a good stir. Now I'm going to just clean off my um, stir stick. Stir stick, it makes it sound really posh, doesn't it? And it's just a lollipop stick or a popsicle stick, depending where you come from. Um, <laughs> that's all it is. And I keep using the same ones over and over again because I find that having resin on them, um, it, it does help. I don't know why, it just seems to help stop the um, the bubbles. Um, so um, I just keep using the same ones over and over again. Right, I'm going to add eight drops. Six, seven, eight. I've just added eight drops of the Pinata Pearl alcohol ink. I'm going to give that a good stir again. Because I cleaned my stir stick, my posh stir stick, beforehand, um, I can now see the colour, the accurate colour of the, um, the white and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put that straight into the piping bag. Now I have got some little tiny gold, uh, well the, the kind of a bronzy, goldy, coppery colour, um, some little tiny glass chips that I'm going to put in the middle of the um, coasters. So I'm going to put those in before I do the piping. Put 
them in the middle of the coasters. As you can see then, I can't, I can't say they're gold, I can't say they're copper and I can't say they're bronze, they're kind of a mixture of all the different three colours but they are, they are a lovely colour so hopefully they'll, they'll be nice. They'll look nice, just put a few more in there, just stir those in. Here we go, last one. Give my spoon a little white. Right, so I'm going to move on to my uh, white in my piping bag. I'm going to snip a little hole at the end. So I'm just going to snip a couple of millimetres off at the, at the bottom. On the Well, sorry, snip a couple of millimetres off the tip of the piping bag. I'm going to check the size of the hole. That's fine. Now, should I do spirals or should I do flower shape, do you think? I actually think I'm going to do spirals. Here we go, there's one. And I'm on to my final one. Just the right amount of white pigment there. Let's just see if I can just get a fraction more out just because I want to do one extra line on this side. One extra line on this side. Otherwise that was the perfect amount of white. I wouldn't like to go with that amount again because I would be too frightened of running out but <laughs> it's worked out okay. Okay so I've got my um, dotting tool now um, and I'm just going to uh, make my flower shape. I'm 
being careful in the middle because I don't want to disturb my glass uh, chippings or my glass stones. starting to bloom already in places. I do love these. So I think I've said before I could just make these all day long, look at them all day long. Hi, welcome back. I'm going to demold these coasters. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to regret not putting a background on them, but let's demold them all first and then we'll have a look and see. Um, I think I'm going to like them regardless um, because it's the pure elegance of the, um, the, the um, just the white ones that I really like. So let's see. I like them from the back as well, but let's see. Just pop the moulds off to one side. I'm going to get some black card. Oh wow, that's super pretty. I've got a little bit of overspill there that I just need to deal with, but that be that's easy for to do. They are super pretty. I love the way the flowers have bloomed. I think next time I might do the um, the piping a little bit further apart just to get a slightly different look um, so that the blooms, um, each bloom is a little bit further apart but I'm really pleased with these. Super happy with those. So I'll say bye for now and I'll be back with another experiment very soon. See you soon. Bye for now.